Welcome to Mothership Hits the Streets. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of pneumonia? If your first thought is COVID-19, then you probably don't know enough about pneumonia. Pneumonia can be caused by many different types of bacteria, viruses, and even fungi. But among these, the most common cause of severe pneumonia is known as invasive pneumococcus. Invasive pneumo... 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 Invasive pneumococcal disease, which is caused by a bacteria called pneumococcus. Today, we're hitting the streets to find out just how much Singaporeans know about this deadly disease. Pneumococcus. <laughs> Try <saying> <laughs> Oh, very hard to, very hard to pronounce the word. It's really just I want to. Probably some sort of disease. Like yeah, I think respiratory, maybe bacteria or something. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's kind of bacterial though. You're correct, it's a bacteria. Okay. Uh, it's actually the most common cause of severe pneumonia. Most of the time, the condition is mild and it can be treated outpatient uh, in clinics with uh, oral antibiotics but there are some cases which uh, involve uh, hospitalization when these patients develop what we call invasive pneumococcal disease for which they will have infection of the brain the spinal cord and this may even end up in intensive care unit the fatality rate of invasive pneumococcal disease is about 20 percent and in seniors is about 30 to 40 percent the symptoms of pneumococcal infections will be very similar to a common flu as well as COVID-19. The only way we can differentiate the both will be through testing. So who do you think is most at risk of pneumococcal infections? I don't think it's a certain age group. Because I feel like I have a friend. She was hospitalised actually. Oh. Yeah, so it happened quite a few years back. And then she was quite young also. Oh. Yeah, like back in NS, there were a lot of people who got pneumonia also. So I think it's like your hygiene level basically. Oh. Not really like age group. I think everybody, like, there's no like age restriction. Do you think there's a uh, particular groups who might be more vulnerable? I guess, I guess the elderly, older people, senior yeah, people. senior citizens, and people with some underlying diseases. Lauren, Lauren, bigger, tall, bigger, ah, uh, her body not strong, no, like this, ah, too strong, no. The pneumococcus bacteria can be found in the nose and throat of healthy people. This will only cause problems when a person has a lower immunity, such as those who are below 2 years old or those above 65, or those who suffer from chronic diseases such as diabetes, heart problems, or even kidney problems. So how do you think you can spread them? Like Coughing, coffee? sharing food. And yeah. Just, yeah. I guess airborne, uh, like if you, if you sneeze or something, then... From air? Yeah, from like coughing and like sneezing. Correct. Talk to each other without wearing masks. Yeah. And then uh, drinking water uh, in, in the same cup yes. like this. When we are at home, uh, sometimes uh, when we don't wear masks and we cough or sneeze, we can easily spread to family members around us, uh, which would include patients who are vulnerable, such as our grandparents or our children as well. For direct contact, it can be spread when someone comes into contact with surfaces which are contaminated with the pneumococcus bacteria. So then how do you think you can prevent from getting it? Mm. <laughs> Wear a mask. <laughs> Have good hygiene habits, yeah. probably. Yeah. Yeah. Wear masks, masks. law. <laughs> very good, very good, yeah. <laughs> get, get one more way to pre uh, prevent it. One more way is... Uh, one more way? Vaccine? Yeah, very good, yes, correct. Do you know that there's a vaccine for it? Oh, I have no idea. Would you consider getting vaccinated? Now yeah, you know? of course. Uh. Yeah. I had a friend that had pneumonia, like he's around my age. So. I think getting jet is quite <laughs> common nowadays, so I don't think it's a problem. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think it's more like why not, right? It's you, you don't want to be at risk of developing. Yeah. Would you consider getting vaccinated? Sure, yeah. why not? If it's free. <笑>其实这种病也是可以打针的你知道吗有我知道我已经打了两次的肺炎针了在那<笑> 浪费钱,我死了就死了,我什么要打,就没办法,就为你个人的健康着想。
There are a few ways of prevention uh, of pneumococcal disease. The first being getting yourself vaccinated. Other means will include practicing proper hand hygiene, avoiding smoking, as well as avoiding excessive alcohol consumption. As we are approaching the end of the year, most of us will approach clinics for our annual flu vaccination. This will be a good opportunity for us to receive the pneumococcal vaccinations at the same time and our same visit. Prior to November 2020, there, the price of such vaccinations is about $180 to $200. Through the government subsidies, this is very much reduced. For the pioneer generation, they will only need to pay um, out of pocket of $16 to receive uh, the first vaccine and $10 for the next vaccine the subsequent year. And this out of pocket payment of $10 and $16 can even be deducted through Medisave. Today, we learned that anyone can be at risk of getting pneumococcal pneumonia anytime and anywhere. But this deadly disease can be easily prevented by leading a healthy lifestyle and getting vaccinated. Since November 2020, eligible Singaporeans and residents are subsidised for their pneumococcal vaccinations. Want to know if you're eligible? Find out more at nopneumonia.sg. So ignore this PSA at your own risk, ah? Want to know if you're eligible? Visit no 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 pneumonia no 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 pneumonia.